Hi, I'm Dr. Stockwell. I'm a NUCA doctor. Um, it's one of the many techniques that exist in the world of chiropractic. Chiropractic's been around for over a hundred years now. There are approximately 20 schools in this nation that teach the concepts of chiropractic science. There aren't a whole lot of people that do this. What I do is referred to as NUCA, N-U-C-C-A. It stands for National Upper Cervical Chiropractic Association. There are perhaps 100, 150 people around the world that do what I do. There are a lot easier ways to make money in chiropractic than what I do. Chiropractic education is a lengthy, detailed process. You can go to my website, jackstockwell.com, and I compare the first two years of chiropractic education with the first two years of Harvard Medical School to show you what's involved with a chiropractic education. What happens in life, accidents and injuries that impact the body will stretch or tear the ligaments that hold the segments of the spine. And with gravity pulling through the body all the time, that weakened structure will fall into a compensated state. The first and second bones of the neck is where the bottom end of your brain stem, as it becomes the spinal cord, is located and movement, traction, anything that disrupts that nerve flow, either moving from the body to the brain or from the brain back to the body, can cause a variety of symptoms to occur, not the least of which could be headaches, um, comprehension, memory, cognitive problems, problems with the ears, nose and throat, problems with the jaw setting correctly in the temporal mandibular joint, problems with the neck that can radiate pain in the head, headaches, migraines, dizziness, disequilibrium, vertigo. And as you move down the spine, at each separate location of the spine, there is another set of nerves coming off of the spinal cord through the spine itself. Pressure in the area of the neck can cause radiating pain anywhere from the neck all the way to the fingertips. And as you move down the spine, the heart becomes involved, the cardiopulmonary, the, 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 your breathing apparatus, digestion, elimination, uh, liver function, kidney function, pancreatic function, uh, moving further down into the pelvic cavity, reproductive processes, final elimination from the body, and then into the legs. You have three major nerve structures, just as you do in the arms, that get all the way down to the toes. They can give you numbness, tingling, pins and needles, uh, radiating sciatic pain, the worst pain you could possibly have where you can't walk, you're bent over. All of these are the result of some bump, some fall, some spill, in some cases very early in life that set you up in a pattern that allowed this misalignment of the spine to take place. I feel like everybody's story starts at birth. Everyone starts a misalignment just because their head was used as a battering ram. I'm seeing more and more kids who haven't even got to puberty yet with headaches and migraines. Think about it, when people are born, they, you know, you gotta get tweaked somehow getting born. You can't be born and not tweak your head and your neck, because they like, you know, totally crank you when you're born. C-sections, forceps, the suction, uh, breech deliveries, any one of these can be very detrimental to the newborn's skull and neck alignment. All that pressure down there on your neck would have to tweak your neck. I mean, being a nurse, I've seen both kinds of deliveries. Yeah, because you go down around the birth canal and out over the pelvis, you know, and around, and you, then they grab the head and pull you out by your head. That's why I have a growing pediatric practice in this clinic. The youngest patient I ever worked on was three hours old. But sometimes, in those desperate moments, if the child is not breathing, if the fetal heart monitor is going wild, if the, if the cord's wrapped around the neck, these kinds of things cause in the immediacy of that moment some, some extraordinary movements that can end up as a result of misalignment of the spine between the head and the neck. So everybody should get corrected, I think. If their baby came in when they were born, I think they'd have a lot healthier lives, a lot less pain and agony. <laughs> Thank you.
The concept of chiropractic is based on the understanding, and there are plenty of studies to back this up, is that misalignments of the spine interfere with the body's balancing mechanisms. Accidents and injuries occur in life, and it doesn't take a 15-car pileup on the freeway to do this. Sometimes just tripping over a throw rug, missing a stair, can whiplash the spine gently, but enough, to cause movement between that first and second bone. When that happens, when the